So there are two reasons why I'm excited about today. One, an Australian niche fragrance house, represent. And two, we have a giveaway. They've been kind enough to give us a full bottle to give to you guys. Before I go any further, just to remind all of my Australian subscribers, you can get 10% off from Libertine Perfumery. They do stock this product here. If you're interested in the conversation that we're about to have on Wood Infusion from Goldfield and Banks, just remember that you'll get not only your 10% off, but also free delivery, and they throw in a whole bunch of extra samples. So it's an awesome way to experience some, well, fragrance that you might be interested in buying and also experience other fragrances that are out there. When I first encountered Goldfield and Banks, I was actually traveling and I discovered that um, perfumery wasn't just for those big houses, Dior, Chanel, and all that sort of stuff. I actually genuinely thought that that's the only people who make perfumes, not realizing there's a whole industry, niche perfumery. And the thing that was exciting about niche perfumery is that the, the agenda is different. Um, it's not necessarily trying to appeal to the masses. It's really about saying, what is it that I love? And this is what some of these perfume houses are doing. What is it that I love? And let's talk more about that. So when I came across Goldfield and Banks, I discovered that these guys here love to use Australian botanicals. So the owner, who's Dimitri Weber, he's a gentleman who fell in love with Australia, moved here, um, and wanted to, to explore more. He was into, he was already in the industry and he wanted to explore more. So hence he just, we established Goldfield and Banks. Now, I smelled these when I, when I came across, I actually purchased their, uh, the, like a collector set and I could sample all their fragrances and instantly fell in love with three of the, and it, really three of their best sellers. One is uh, Pacific Rock Moss. I've done a review on this previously, the link will be there. The other one is Blue Cypress, which is phenomenally fresh, beautiful fragrance. And then this one here. Now this one here was addictive. When I first smelt it, it, it drew me in. It was, it's creamy, it's sexy, it's, there's a, there's a, I don't know, it, 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 it's a, it's such a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And, and again, they use Australian botanicals for all these fragrances. So let's talk about this guy here first. On opening, on that first spray, what, to me, that's it. And I, I'm a bit of a sucker. That opening spray, if you can make that, well, not if you can, but if a fragrance house makes that opening spray in, enticing, yeah, it's, it's almost like a given that I'm going to go ahead and buy it, basically. So for me, the opening spray brings me in quickly and it tells me very fast what this fragrance is about. It's about warmth. It's about, um, it's about uh, just... It, it, think of it like a warm blanket, a warm blanket of, of beautifulness. Opening notes is orange, lavender, and spices. The orange pops for me. So now, when you say orange, you think citrus, not citrus. It's actually, there's a, there's, um, it's an orange. It's, it has a nice, fresh, um, sort of orange fragrance to it, but not high citrus, okay? So it's not a bergamot or anything like that. It then, for me, it goes in quickly into those, into those next notes which is the heart. And in the heart, you're looking at iris and woody notes. That's how he's defined it. Now the iris, I found that iris root creates a bit of a, like a creamy texture to the fragrance. In some fragrances, it even comes out a little bit chocolatey. In this case here, it comes out creamy. And to the point, sometimes I even define this as buttery. There's a, there's a like I said before, there's, there's a yummy warmth to it. Finally, in the dry down or in the base, you're looking at things like um, musk, sandalwood and oud. The oud, in my opinion, doesn't pop. Sometimes I find that some oud fragrances have a bit more, you know, they're, they're a bit more robust, more in your face. Whereas this fragrance here stays soft, stays creamy, stays warm. As I mentioned, when I first, uh, when I first came across this, it was, I, I couldn't, and I couldn't believe the, the creaminess, the warmth that this fragrance was actually creating. I've never smelt anything quite like it. For me, this fragrance works perfectly in winter. It's an, it's an amazing uh, colder weather kind of fragrance. It would work perfectly in the office. I wear it at the office, but it works perfectly as a lounging around. So I, I have a lounging around fragrance. If I'm gonna be just chilling at home, if I'm gonna watch a movie on the couch, whatever, 
believe it or not, I actually have a fragrance for chill. And uh, this is one of those fragrances. I see, I like a nice gourmand uh, for a chill fragrance. If I'm gonna watch a movie, I'll put on a, a gourmand fragrance or I'll put on something warm. Do I love it? 100%, I fell in love. As I said, on, on first spray, I was already there. So my love uh, on this is quite high. Does my wife love it? 100%. She enjoys this fragrance as a, um, as I said, if, if I want some extra cuddles, this is a brilliant fragrance for those extra cuddles. Um, when it comes to longevity, the longevity on it is pretty awesome. So um, I'm finding it comfortably six to seven hours, I'm getting um, the, the fragrance staying on me. When it comes to its projection, it's moderate. As I mentioned, this is a really excellent fragrance for the office. This is an excellent fragrance for going out. So you don't want, in my opinion, you don't want a huge trade on this. You're not trying to make a statement. You're just trying to create a little bit of warmth as people come into your, into your circle. Um, price point, Gold Field and Banks, you, they, I, I honestly feel that they over deliver on their product versus their price. So their price is very, very accessible. I know that right now Goldfield and Banks is making a lot of noise internationally and so they should. They, again, they're, they're an awesome house. They, um, they, they've, their range is very diverse. Um, and, and, and it's exciting, they, they use, there are some core ingredients in there that are purely Australian. I know that in this one here, the ingredients that they use um, are, well, they're using the woods, it's a wood infusion fragrance, and they're drawing their, their um, ingredients from Fraser Island. Fraser Island in Australia is a pristine lo um, uh, uh, a place, what, a pristine establishment? No, pristine island um, based in Queensland. And uh, they, according to their official notes, they actually take exotic woods from that location. And again, the, the official notes on this are sandalwood, um, wood, and then other woody elements. So what that is, I don't know, but I know that they've got sandalwood and wood in there. Um, so yeah, so price point on this, for what you get, it's exceptional, exceptional. Now, the exciting part. So if you go across to our Instagram page, you'll see the, um, the promo details to win and to get a, a free bottle of a wood infusion. Thank you so much for participating. Please include in your comments any thoughts that you may have. Do you have wood infusion? What's your feel on it? What other fragrances are you experiencing that I should really know about? Please let me know. I do go out, I do go explore, and I do want to experience that for myself. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Join the Niche Fragrance Collector family and look out for some new activities that are coming out. We've got some amazing conversations starting up very soon with some, um, uh, some new partners, which we're pretty excited about. Thanks everyone. We'll see you on the next video.